What's up, DK Mafia? It's your girl, Key. And your boy, D. And we are back with another video today, guys. Um, so today, um, I know you guys used to us cracking jokes and um, doing pranks and stuff. Um, but today we want to talk about a more serious matter. Um, you know, due to the pandemic, a lot of us have been stuck in the house, working from home, and, you know, we're scared to go out, you know, due to the COVID-19. Um, so today what we want to talk about is mental health and mental awareness and making sure that you're straight, making sure that you're good, making sure that you take the proper steps to make sure that you're good in your mental. Um, so, like, I just want to... Like, like we said, we want to be transparent with you guys and stuff. Um, now, me personally, I actually suffer from anxiety and depression. Um, and some days are better than others. Um, but, like, lately, since, you know, being in the house and stuff and working from home, like, my anxiety has been, like, through the roof. And, like, some days I wake up and it's very hard for me to get out of bed. Um, and... You know, I never really discussed this because, you know, everybody who knows me, they know that I'm like the goofy, always cracking jokes and, you know, always trying to make other people happy. But, you know, I just want to let you guys know that depression and anxiety is real. And, you know, like in our community, we do not take it as serious as we should um, because we're worried about what other people will say or how people will look at us. And, you know, it's, it's messed up, but... You know, I'm to the point to where I realize that, you know, I have an issue. And that's the first step, admitting that you have an issue. And the second step is doing the measurements that you need to take to make sure that you're good. Um, so I just want to, you know, put that out there. And um, we want to give like some tips on what we do um, to get out of that funk or whatever. Um, so for me, um, what would usually get my mind off of things and whatever I'm going through is I'll get on YouTube and I'll watch battle rap. Like that is just like my all time favorite thing to do. It just not, not, not saying that you should do that. You have to find your own piece. You have to find what makes you happy. But battle rap, like just listening to the bars and go at each other, like that really makes me feel like it takes me to that place to where I'm just like carefree. Um, so I watch battle raps and um, another thing I do is play my game of course. Um, that usually takes my mind off of things. And what I recently just discovered is TikTok. And like TikTok is just like the, the best, best thing. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been making TikTok and stuff. But you got anything you want to say on the topic? why I'm in that mood and then he'll be like well what's wrong with you why you just and then I'll be fine and next you know I just get mad about something like I don't know it's just it's hard to explain 
but I do want other people to know if you're watching this, if you know someone who suffered with this, if you suffer with it, with anxiety, depression like me, or with bipolar, or ADD, whatever that you might deal with, that's a mental illness, you know, and and everything that you're dealing is just like, I want you to know you're not alone for one, for two, we are very underlooked as a, a race. We are very underlooked in all of this because they don't look at us African Americans. Okay, like they just want to just throw us in a jail or throw us whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I seriously suffer with it, and I I pray to God a lot to not deal with that I'm dealing with, and it's very hard. You have to understand me. You have to understand me. But on overall, it is very hard because I just I can't deal with. Like, I don't know, I don't, I can't deal with something that somebody else could deal with. Like, I'll be easy to, like, just, okay, like, and just go at it. But now, lately, I've been like, mm, Keisha, you know, get yourself together. And I have been doing a little better, haven't I? I have, and I feel like I have. I'm just like, you know, of course, I'm still taking my medicine and stuff. I'm doing everything that I gotta do. Continue taking my medicine and continue to be the best person, the best mother, the best girlfriend, the best friend, the best daughter, the best friend, the best, the best cousin, all of that, that I can be, you know, so I just want to let anyone out there know that you're not alone, seriously, like, y'all do. And, you know, just, I just want to remove the stigma that, you know, especially speaking from my point of view. Like, the odds are, not to make it a race thing, because, you know, we love everyone out there, no matter your color, but to be a male, a black male in America, it's, nowadays it's really hard, it's really, really hard, it's really tough, and on top of that, you know, dealing with, you know, bipolar, um, depression, anxiety, whatever it may be that you may go through, it's very, very tough. So you just have to find find your mental peace, like find that place that takes you, that elevates you out of this world and just have you in your zone and you just, you know, relax and, you know, it's, it's, it's okay not to be okay, but just make sure that you have at least that one person that you can talk to and let them know, hey, I'm not feeling good today and, you know, and da 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 like just, just make sure you have that one person that you can vent to because it helps a lot. It really does. Yeah, it do help a lot. And also, don't be afraid to be like, okay, well, this person going to talk about me. Like, I used to feel like that, like, people want to call, like, well, used to say, you're crazy, you're this, you're that. And I'm like, you don't understand me, period. That's how I feel. Like, you don't understand me. So, it's like, of course, you're going to think that I'm crazy because you don't see my view. You don't want to see my view. You don't want to know who I am deep down inside. And it's just a big thing too in dealing with that. Don't be afraid to tell anybody that, or if somebody close to you that, that you can confine in. Don't be afraid to tell them what's really going on with you and how you feel. Sometimes that uplifting word just from your part, your friend that, or whoever you're talking to, that person, they will make you feel really, really good. And sometimes you'll be like, you know, I just want it. Like you just want to hear certain things, you know, to make you uplifting and it really helps a lot and i just want to give that advice because i used to be ashamed i used to be everything to say that i don't i'm ain't nothing wrong just make sure you have the right support system and like just make sure that you're with somebody that really understands you like she understands some days that you know i might just flip the switch and i'm just isolated and i'm you know i'm quiet and stuff and she might ask me what's wrong Sometimes that's that's all you need to hear. So just make sure your support system is strong, especially during these times. Uh, while we're quarantined, like being in the house like this long, it can really like bring out the worst of your demons, and you don't want that. And you don't want that. And I want to um, eventually, when our platform gets bigger, like I want to be an advocate on, you know, mental illness and depression and anxiety. I want us to be the advocate for that because it is from the point in our community. And a lot of people put it to the back burner and take it lightly as if it's not something. But I mean, it eventually could mess with your, your physical health if you continue to be unhappy. You know? Hey guys, just make sure you comment and subscribe. Thank you guys. And we got.
lots more in store, but we just felt the need to take the time out because um, we know that there could be somebody out there going through the same things that we're going through and they may not feel as if they're strong enough to get through. So uh, we just wanted to make this video to let you know that you are strong enough to get through this and you can make it through anything. And if you need to, you can even reach out to us. Um, we're going to put our Instagrams right here. You can reach out to us and discuss any issues that you are having and you know we'll reply back and we'll we'll talk you through it like we're not therapists by far but i feel as if we're at a place to where we can finally speak on our demons and you know release them to the world and hopefully give at least one person the courage to speak on theirs so you know with that being said anything else you want to add to that all right dk mafia we love you guys Stay tuned um, to want to have a little serious video, but the pranks will be back. She is getting got. It. We will be back. I'm getting got or you getting got. It don't matter. But somebody getting got. It. So DK Mafia, we love y'all. Signing out. We love y'all. Peace.